So a couple of weeks ago, we lost power here at the house, which means that I lost power in the studio. I couldn't record videos, edit videos, 3D print. I mean, I couldn't do anything here in the studio, really anything in my entire house. All I could really do was sit here and watch the hundreds of dollars in groceries that we just bought the day before pretty much rot and go to waste. So after about an hour of not having power, I started thinking, okay, what do we need to do? I need to figure out batteries, candles, lighting, all of this stuff. Well, I have a studio, so I have a bunch of battery powered lights and stuff. And I had just bought several big candles for my studio because, hey, I like it to smell good. And so I lit up those candles and then I pulled out all of my battery powered lights. And so we were pretty much good to go when it came to lighting. But then after a couple of hours of being in this house with no air conditioning, it started to get hot and it was stuffy. There was no fans going on. But then I remembered, I don't know if you guys remember a few videos back, I gave away a USB rechargeable fan in one of my videos. Well, they sent us out two and I kept one and I gave one away. Well, that fan came in super handy and it even has LED lights on it. So it was kind of like a, a nightlight next to the bed so we could lay down and sleep kind of comfortably. But then this thing died after about two hours. I was back at square one. We had lighting and the food was rotting and we were uncomfortable. It was hot and stuffy and I needed to figure out a way to power that fan. But then I remembered I had this. So this is an EcoFlow battery generator that ironically enough, AliExpress had sent this out to us to do a review on a few weeks back. And we just been so busy that it's just been sitting in the box and I haven't even opened it until now. So I opened this thing up and thank God it was like three quarters of the way charged. And I was able to power fans, charge our phones. And I was even able to charge up some of those batteries for all the lighting that we were running. Well, me being me and being bored, I started thinking like, man, I wonder if you could use this to power a 3D printer. Like, let's say you're going to a convention or wherever it may be and you just need to power a 3D printer. Well, I got the Creality High here and I got this and I hooked it up and well, let me show you. So basically you just make sure that it's on and then I take this cord that's coming from the Creality High machine and then you just plug it in to the outlet just like you would any other wall outlet. And then you have to actually turn it on right here. So now we should have power to the high machine, which we do because I see the blue light on right here. And yeah, we have power right there on the screen. That's perfect. And just so you know, I don't have the machine plugged into the wall. Here's the cord right here. Now this is a stupid long cord because I use it for powering things right here at this desk. Now that's not a huge accomplishment yet because we're just powering a a LCD display at this point. We're not heating the bed. We're not doing anything with the nozzle. So let's see what happens. Let's heat up the bed, heat up the nozzle at the same time. And let's see what happens. So as you can see, the output goes to 300 Watts. Now that's going to be at the very top of its capabilities. And honestly, I'm willing to bet that the bed is going to heat up a lot slower than it would had we had it plugged into the wall Now the nozzle. It'll probably go as normal, but the bed is probably going to go slow right there at 299 i wonder if it's gonna pop the little breaker in there so it shows 95 percent with 42 minutes we could use this thing on this 3d printer for 42 minutes at 95 percent battery life and yeah 298 so if we're pushing 300 watts on this thing and it's 300 watt max then it just makes me wonder are we going to be able to heat the bed heat the nozzle and move the gantry up and down and move the bed because it doesn't seem like we have very much headroom left here. Yeah, it's at 299.300. So yeah, I guess we'll see if it's gonna pop the breaker or not. So let's do a print real quick. Let's see what it does. All right, now it's down to 145 watts. I guess because the nozzle is heated up, the bed's already heated, so it's not struggling as much. And so now it's just moving the gantry and the tool head, not that much power. As you can see, the nozzle's at 100C and the bed's at 60. Is it gonna print? And yeah, look how fast that thing is climbing. It's just shooting up there. It actually shot past it. Oh, hey, real quick. I wanted to tell you guys about an all new Discord server that I created just for you guys. It's a one of a kind 3D printing Discord server where you earn XP, where you can also earn Benchy coins. Later on, you can trade those Benchy coins for products. Now we're still working on the XP and gaining uh, Benchy coins and all of that, but there's already 40 or 50 people in the server already, and I haven't even announced it yet. So this thing's gonna be huge. You guys go join. I'll put the link in the description and 
go over there, get in the server. You can literally chat about any 3D printer brand. There's Bamboo, there's any Cubic uh, Creality. I mean, they're all there. There's also Slicer Chat. And then there's also an AI bot in there. If no one in the chat can help you and figure out an answer to your problem, you can actually ask the AI bot and he can help you. So go check it out, join the server and start earning XP now and get a head start before the crowd gets there. All right, now back to the video. There he goes. It's purging. Oh yeah, we're printing. That's printing, yep. So it shows we have one hour of runtime, 82% battery, started out with 95, I believe. We have 18 minutes on the print. So we're gonna let this thing print and we're gonna see how much time we have left on the generator after the print's done. Well, it did it and it actually came out no different than it would had it been plugged into the wall. So we know it's supplying sufficient power for it to do what it needs to do. It actually wasn't even drawing the full 300 watts that it has the capability of providing. So that's pretty crazy and pretty cool to know that I can basically take this 3D printer wherever I want and 3D print something if I need to. So I messed up and I didn't record the front of this and capture the time left. It was 45 minutes on the time, but after the printer powers down, it basically, it says we have a few hours left because it's not drawing any power. But I did see it before the printer went off and it was 45 minutes. So we went from an hour, we printed around 17 minutes and we have 45 minutes of power left on the generator. So yeah, I just thought I would show you guys. This is the EcoFlow River 3 230 watt hour, 300 watt battery generator. This is my only EcoFlow product that I've ever owned and AliExpress, they did send this out to us and uh, they wanted to get our opinion on it. Well, so far I don't have any complaints on it for sure. It definitely came in handy for the storm and the power outage that we had honestly it would have sucked without it for sure now i can't replace a regular generator but for me it beats it because for what we needed i didn't have to deal with gas i didn't have to run extension cords through the windows and all of that jazz i just basically had this right beside our bed we ran fans phones all that good stuff and it was awesome and then when i got curious i figured out that hey you can even run a 3d printer with this thing so that's cool and if you want to pick one of these up you can go to the links in the description they're on aliexpress you can now print wherever you want as long as you have a generator or a battery generator well that's all i have for you guys go check out the ecoflow river 3 and we'll see you in the next video and as always stay ready to 3d print